<laughs> and that's all from us for this week. We'll see you again next time. I mean, welcome, welcome, that's what I meant, to Creepy Cheapies here at the Library of Horror Hotel, where we take a little time out each week to appreciate and discuss and examine the fine art of Halloween masks and the creativity and imagination and artistry that goes into the fabrication thereof. And just in case you thought this was a uh, cup I was going to take a drink out of, like containing a beverage, no, it's actually a cup containing old, broken, disused... Uh, remote control parts so we don't need any of that stuff so we'll just we'll just get rid of that right now and bring out the mask of the day which happens to be this thing called death keeper yeah now you thought it was hard to keep uh, records like for your taxes every year that kind of thing hard to keep track of oh i don't know how many children you have that sort of uh, record keeping this guy has to keep records of all the deaths but He's, he's good at it. He's got a good head for figures. And you can see it all the way around here. He's got a good head for figures. And, uh, well, it is his job as Death Keeper to keep track of all the deaths since the beginning of humankind, I believe. So that's, that's his job, you know. And everybody needs a job. He enjoys his. He's good at it. I say let's let him keep the position another couple of thousand years. Hmm? Now, the Death Keeper is a 2023 mask, is that right? Yeah, 2023, he says, is when he came out. From the Creeps at October Studios. And how can you tell? Because there's a tag that says October Studios right there. That's October spelled OK, T-O-B-E-R, instead of O-C, T-O-B-E-R. October Studios. And I believe you can score one of these for neighborhood of 60 bucks. Uh, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. Prices vary and fluctuate and, and kind of ebb and flow and like that. But anyway, neighborhood of 60 bucks, which isn't that bad of a neighborhood in which to live. Now, the Death Keeper is available in three, count them, three exciting colors, or at least he was as of uh, this video uh, recording. This one is the Ochre color, which of course means yellow, tinged with yellow. That's uh, the ochre version. And there was also a gray and white version. And there was also the first version that came out had a uh, red instead of black here. So that's uh, this black space that you see looked more like muscle tissue, had, had uh, that sort of look to it. But Personally, I kind of like this one the best. I kind of like the ochre. You're welcome. I like the yellow version the best. Uh, this thing really kind of goes beyond Halloween mask and into fine art piece. I don't know if you can see how wonderful the detailing is. The anatomy on him is just really cool and pretty convincing and naturalistic looking. He's got great teeth. And I did not do anything to enhance the paint. Uh, like most... Uh, October Studios stuff that I've seen. The paint jobs, uh, the paint job on this one was so nice right out of the package that it just didn't um, invite any further enhancement or augmentation or customization or anything because it just looked pretty darn good. And as you can see, it comes down pretty far in the back. It's got a full neck in the back, got the slit up there. What you wear with it is pretty obviously a robe, like a Grim Reaper type character. Uh, possibly a robe enhanced with details like maybe uh, some chains and ropes and strange things hanging on there. Maybe some weird occulty looking symbols to give him sort of a uh, witchcraft uh, ambiance. And you would probably wear rubber skeleton hands with it. Uh, as for the rubber skeleton hands, sometimes I see great ones that look really cool. Sometimes I see pretty shabby ones on the market that don't look very good and don't move uh, very well. And So shop around a bit before you pick out your rubber skeleton hands. And remember, they're going to need to be a little bit more bone colored because this is the ochre version. However, if you get the uh, gray and white version, you'll just want the colorless gray and or white skeleton hands and different companies make skeleton hands but only october makes the death keeper mask and can you imagine you thought my library was full of too much uh, spooky stuff imagine 
his his records keeping facility. He's got an enormous underground vault full of records of all the deaths. And stranger still, he remembers how everybody died since the beginning of time. He remembers, he just, you know, he doesn't go to any special trouble to try to memorize it, like there's gonna be a pop quiz or anything. He just happens to remember how every human being has died. Do you know how every animal has died too? Some of them? He says some of them. What about mosquitoes? No, you don't keep track of, okay. Just checking, just checking. But the Death Keeper, available in three colors from um, October Studio, is your recommendation for Halloween. And again, would look great if you're wearing it. There are little eye cuts here above his eyes. You could be wearing it with your black robe, or it would look great on a mannequin with a spooky colored light or something shining up on it, perhaps in the front window during the Halloween season or on uh, Arbor Day, just to be different. So look for our old friend, the Death Keeper. And until next time, beware. I hear there are end screens lurking about, and you never know when an end screen is gonna suddenly, suddenly rip into view and... <laughs>